Vivian, it's always good to see you. And I'm always happy to see you. <laughs> Beth, I realized that I was wrong the other day to accuse you of being a stalker, and I... I understand why you reacted as strongly as you did. Well, that's all right, Vanessa. I'm sure we both said a lot of things we shouldn't have. <clears throat> I didn't see your mother. Oh, both she and Charles have to work today, unfortunately. Uh, oh, don't they make a lovely couple? Who? David and Vicky, of course. How dare she talk to me that way? Alexandra doesn't even know me. Don't let her get to you. Alex can take some getting used to. Okay? She'd better get used to me. I am not going to let her chase me off. I am much stronger than that. And whether she likes it or not, I've got Brandon Spalding's blood coursing through my veins, too. I've got just as much right to be here as anyone. Happy Thanksgiving, my dear, wonderful family. India. <laughs> well, I'm so glad you could come, India. Oh, Alex, I'm so sorry. With Philip's wedding, I forgot to tell you that India was back in town. Happy Thanksgiving, dear. Thank you, Alex. Now, 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 Alex, be nice. Wasn't you yesterday that pleaded with me, put the past in the past? Now, you're not going to change your mind, are you? No, no. Happy Thanksgiving, dude. Good, good. Alan, good to see you. Father may be in his grave, but you still look... How are you? The same. Nice. Aren't you sweet? Hello. Aren't I? Hello. <laughs> Mm. I can tell you how it feels to spend the holidays with family. And I can't tell you how it feels to have you here. <laughs> Will you be here long? Je ne sais pas. Oh, I'm refurbishing a chalet in Switzerland. Till it's finished, I thought I'd spend some time here. <laughs> the look on your face tells me I made the right decision. Uh, I was lucky enough to run into Ross first. I convinced him to beg off all of his obligations and join us for the day. Yes, I hope that won't be a problem. Ross, Alex. not you, darling, any time. Nettie, set another place at the table, please. Yes, ma'am. No, I don't have any obligations. Look, I, uh... I know that you said that you didn't want to see me anymore, and I, uh... Well, believe me, I tried to get out of coming here today, but I, I couldn't. If I made any big deal about it then no I, no yeah. i you know I, I understand and things like this are bound to come up and yeah. we just have to make the best of course right <clears throat> everything okay it's uh it's just that jenna was supposed to bring lizzie back by now i'm getting worried excuse me sir you have an urgent call oh, excuse me yeah. yes jenna what is it what, what happened Lizzie and Marina are missing. What? Alan, they were here with me at Millennium, and I turned my back for one minute, and I turned around and they were gone. We have searched the entire place. They've just vanished. Did you call the police? Yes, of course I did. They're on their way. Okay, we'll be there as soon as possible. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there's been a change of plan. We're going to have to go to the Millennium. Um, Alan, that was Jenna, wasn't it? Yes. It, what, what's the matter? Uh, uh, um, Marina and Lizzie are missing. Oh, my God. What's happened? I, I don't know, but I'll tell you everything that I do know in the car. Uh, come on, folks. You say it's a stalker like you know that for sure. Well, no, I didn't mean for sure, but it's not the stalker's M.O. There must be some other explanation. Well, I hope you're right, but he's not the only nutcase in the world, you know? I'm not a nutcase. And why do you think Danny Santo took the two girls? Well, A, because he's been hanging around here since his brother died, and B, because he forced Drew, the club's owner, to hire him as a bartender so he could keep an eye on things. Did you see this Danny character with the girls earlier? No, but... There's something wrong, ma'am. Why are you asking me so many bloody questions? Shouldn't we be out there looking for these children? Yes, it's true. You know, every hour they're missing means you're less likely to find them. upset you. Not only did we kill Mick, now we're responsible for two little girls missing. Don't get ahead of yourself. The girls may have just wandered off. And what if they didn't, Bill? What if Danny actually took them? God, we know what we're, he's capable of. What if he took them just to make a point? <laughs> Look who I found hanging around outside. What did you do with those kids? Tell me. 